Today is March 14th, 2019, and this is episode 72 of Planesavers. Good morning, everybody. It is still Wednesday. Um, I haven't left Yellowknife yet. I've just uploaded yesterday's episode. Hopefully you've seen it. It's called, uh, I, think it's, I think I'm calling it Last Day in Yellowknife. Today's episode is on the road again. We are heading to uh, the Electra. I got uh, all the blueprints that Rod gave me. Slowly just walking over ice there. Loading the Electra now. Just got to make sure that, uh, yeah, they get the stuff on and yeah, and then we'll be on our way. So, Woo, hopefully they get the engine on. Everybody, on today's episode of Playing Savers, we're loading up the electric to send it down to Red Deer. DC3 engine? Yeah, you want me to get real close to it? What's that? You want me to get real close to it? Oh no, you got it, you got it in there? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Okay, thanks Jamie. Right. Well, thank you Jamie for that impromptu uh, confirmation that the engine's on there. Saved me from going in the airplane, but at least uh, the viewers like you get to go see it. So, Jamie is uh, one of, well, the only female C-46 pilot currently flying in the world and one of the only DC-3 pilots as well, so. Yeah, we got to uh, get Jamie on one of the episodes soon, but now I got to go back into Plane Saver Studio, get all packed up, and uh, head off to high level tonight. And uh, yeah, hopefully Stella shows up with the dogs pretty soon and we can hit the road. Okay guys, here I got my backpack. I got all the GoPros emptied out. And uh, I'm gonna start grabbing my gear, all the stuff I need, put in the backpack and uh, pick up that trash can. <laughs> okay, everybody, we finally made it on the road. Oh my God, I can't believe we made everything uh, fit in within that short time frame. I got the episode out, got the airplane loaded, got everything on the go. So that's pretty good. So now we are on the road. You can see here it's, uh, you know, it's a very interesting uh, drive. Yellowknife is notoriously, has a bad uh, highway going in. You see it's pretty bumpy. But uh, yeah, it's not really that bad. I think it gets more of a bad reputation than it deserves. But as you can see, I'm bouncing around here. It does <laughs> get bad in some areas. So we got the truck packed up. Uh, Stella's here, as you can see. Hi, Stella. Uh, we got the dog in the back, Stooky. And uh, yeah, so we're just coming up on our first stop. We've been driving for an hour. Uh, this is Ray Edzo and uh, whoa. <laughs> bumps and we got the Ray Edzo bridge here okay everybody we just filled up in Providence dogs up and uh, we're gonna go over I'm gonna show you guys uh, the bridge the bridge at Providence uh, if you remember some old ice pilots episodes we used to do a thing called river shuttle and uh, there used to be a ferry that goes across the Mackenzie River. Mackenzie River is one of the biggest rivers in the world. And uh, yeah, it used to be a ferry that goes across or an ice bridge or an ice road. Uh, but uh, at some times a year, you know, it's too bad for a ferry and uh, too warm for an ice bridge. Uh, so we would sometimes have a month of uh, flying airplanes like crazy across uh, the Great Saint Lake. But this bridge is kind of you know took a made an end to that so I'm gonna show you guys that bridge right now it's pretty cool I forget its name I'll put its name down here I think it's like yeah so there you go <laughs> so let's uh, let's head up to the bridge and I'll show you now so hope you guys like that that was the the Mackenzie River Bridge and hope you guys uh, are still sticking with the video I'm gonna save some of the drive home stuff uh, some of the sightseeing for the drive home too because 
we're gonna actually have to make a video on the way back so i can't show you everything um but yeah next stop uh enterprise and not and not the starship this is uh the community okay we stopped on the highway here is one of the most beautiful places to stop in uh in the northwest territories while you're driving to Yellowknife. uh it's just such an amazing view um, I'll see if I can find it on Google Earth, but uh, yeah, hopefully one of these cameras has a GPS we can find it. But I just want to show you the view while the dog uh, does his business. Check this out. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, when you're here, check it out. And uh, yeah, check the dog out. There's Mr. Stooks. Look how long those legs are. So uh, yeah, Mr. Stooks, he's got a, a hurt foot here, so. Mr. Stooks, Take the leash. what are you doing? Hold the leash. And get a sock off. You got your sock off, Mr. Stooks. There. Oh, there's Snapper Don. Mr. Stooks, let's go. Oh, we gotta, I gotta open the door here for Mr. Stooks. It's so heavy. The other one. Oh, See, <laughs> Why did I get a greyhound? Oh. Yeah. Mr. Stooks, you got coach seats back there. The holy sock. There's a sock. There's old Mr. There he is. He seat likes belt. it. Not very much room. He's got a seatbelt on. We're safe, dog owners. So yeah. So that was pretty cool. That was my buddy Snapper Don, legendary ice road trucker, uh, honking on his way by. Uh, we'll we'll see. Let's try to catch up with him and see if we can get a, a shot of him driving. Okay, folks. We are in Enterprise. That's the way to Hay River. This way, right here. But uh, we are bypassing Hay River uh, and we're heading to high level. So uh, yeah, here's a, a quick look of Enterprise. And then we got Snapper Don in front of us here. We're gonna pass him uh, and see if we can get him on film for you guys. Old Snapper Don, I'll send you a link to this so you can actually uh, watch an episode. Thank you, that was fun. A lot of good times there, Snapper. Didn't think I'd be on the road with you, but now we're trucking. We're not gonna stop on this round, but on the way back, uh, we're gonna definitely stop and I'm gonna show you. This is the Northwest Territories, Alberta border. So um, yeah, right behind me here, you can see the territory sign. There you go, hope you see that. And then now we are in, check this out. Alberta, yay, we made it. And this is my dog's first time in Alberta. Oil and gas, Stooks, oil and gas. So yeah, we're in Alberta now. Um, actually, uh, Stella and I just heard the news that Canada just grounded the 737 MAX. Which is, uh, which is crazy. And you know, I don't really like to talk about the C word that much, but uh, yeah, it's, this is a, a major aviation event. So I thought I would just mention it. Uh, my personal opinion is that, uh, yeah, there's definitely something they, they have to figure out. Uh, because if you look at just pure mathematics, just pure statistics, uh, something's not right, regardless of what anybody knows. So um, yeah, so hopefully they figure that out quick. And because it's gonna hurt uh, the whole aviation industry and pretty much every single angle uh, you can possibly think of from um, someone getting a flight delayed to pilots and, and crew out of a job, ground crew, um, yeah, just the economy, uh, Boeing, all those jobs, like just 
Uh, I wish that they could figure a solution out super quick and get those birds back in the air where they belong. And uh, yeah, so that's it. That's kind of, just wanted to uh, mention that for you guys because um, I know it's a hot topic. But uh, yeah, so we'll see you in high level. Folks, we are in high level. And are you excited to see uh, a little bit of a hotel room tour? Uh, but first off, we got to start off with the fanciest light shade or lamp I've ever seen. Check this out. Stooks! Stooks, you look like a lamp! Yes, well, it's been nine this TLC tumor, which is actually a good tumor. You heard that here, folks. That's a good tumor. Stookies! Stookies, you have a good tumor. Okay, so anyway, Stooks is running around like a lamp. Uh, yeah, this is actually a pretty nice uh, hotel room, actually. We got a fireplace, flat screen TV, fridge, stove, microwave, freezer, another door, and a bathroom. Just like pretty much every hotel in history. Uh, except, you know, most hotels don't have fireplaces, but oh, that's good. So this is the Quality Inn and Suites in high level. Uh, very good. You know, they're dog friendly and wicked price. Uh, and they have a restaurant in the hotel that serves beer and chicken wings. So that is the goal tonight is beer and chicken wings. And uh, Stuka can only eat medicine. So folks, I'll, pro I'll probably be seeing you in the morning. So uh, good night and uh, well folks, it is, what is it, Thursday morning. We're in high level. Uh, I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you for coming on a road trip with us. That was pretty fun. Sorry there wasn't too many airplanes, but yeah, it's a road, tri road trip story. Um, so as I'm going to end today's episode, I'm going to actually start tomorrow's episode right here too uh, and uh, document us getting a red deer, seeing my father, um, look at some airplanes and then uh, yeah, and then uh, we'll all start this thing all over again. So cool. Thank you. Oh, there's Stella. Hi Stella. Hello. So um, yeah, so we're having fun. Suki doesn't have his cone on right now because he's, he's in travel mode. And we'll, uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching this episode. Thank you for everything going on, folks. Uh, we are on the move. And uh, you're with us every step of the way. So we'll uh, see you soon. Bye.